Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. I got a CCNA and CSENT five minute drill for you today, a video practice exam on layer two encapsulation. Some of the questions you can see right now, some you can't, and we've also got a little bit of a lab today on Cisco Live Router. So let's jump right in and get started. Question one, in the output of debug PPP authentication, you see the phrase MDDES compare failed. What does that tell you? Question 2 of PAMP, CHAMP, TCP, and UDP, which uses a three-way handshake? Of course, there could be more than one right answer there. Question 3 of PAMP and CHAMP, which hashes the password before it's transmitted across the WAN? Because it's a very bad idea to send unhashed passwords, right? Question 4. In the world of frame relay, what is the CIR? And don't just tell me what it stands for. Tell me what it is. Because we got to know both of those things, not just enough to know what it is. And question five, you run ShowFrame LMI a few times and you notice the num status inc sent and num status messages received continue to increment. What does this tell you? Because we got to be able to look at this information and not only be able to say what command gives us this particular info, but of course how we interpret it as well. We're going to hit the answers in just a moment. It's a quick invitation to my CCNA 2012 video boot camp and a free CCNA security course I'm running out on Udemy. We've got almost 3,000 people in these two classes and you definitely want to join us. When you come out to the CCNA 2012 course, make sure to put in Bulldog60 for your redemption code or your coupon code because then you're going to get in for $44. Literally you're paying $2 an hour for my world-class CCNA instruction. It just doesn't get any better than that. Also we've got a free CCNA security course even if you're not going after that cert yet but you should be. You need to learn about Cisco Configuration Professional and I'm going to show you all around that. This is an hour and a half of free training right now and it's going to be more because I'm going to add some more videos uh, for my YouTube channel as well. So please make sure to check those out. One costs you nothing and one costs you almost nothing. Now let's take a look at these questions. First with debug PPP authentication. When you see MDDES compare failed, that tells you there's a password problem. When the password results are being compared, it's a mismatch. So it's not an encapsulation problem or anything like that. It's actually that the password uh, configuration is incorrect. Now, if PAP, CHAP, TCP, and UDP, uh, CHAP and TCP both use three-way handshakes. Now, they do different things, obviously, with CHAP. You know, it's uh, password authentication uh, over PPP, and TCP, of course, is a world unto its own. But they both use the concept of the three-way handshake, where PAP and UDP do not. Now, if PAP and CHAP, which hash is the password? It's definitely CHAP. If you're using PAP, that means that you're sending a password across a wide area network with just a clear text. It's just sitting there waiting for somebody to pick off. Again, a very bad idea. When it comes to frame relay, the CIR is the committed information rate. Now, of course, when you hear that, it's like, well, who's doing the committing here? Well, the CIR, that's what the service provider tells you. This particular virtual circuit is guaranteed to have this minimum amount of bandwidth available to it. You might get more at times but you're guaranteed a minimum rate. That is the CIR. Now we're going to use the live Cisco router here in a moment. And I started this, I've run this command once already so we have something to compare it to. If you run show frame LMI, which is an excellent troubleshooting command, and you see these two numbers increment, and these were the two I was talking about, status inquiry sent and status messages received, when you see those incrementing, that's actually a good thing. Those are the two that you want to have increment. And you got to know that too, because of course, if we don't know what we're trying to get to, we can't fix a problem, right? It's when you see these timeouts begin to increment that you know you've got a problem. But if you see these sent inquiries, inquiry sent message, and messages received incrementing, then everything is just fine. Thanks for taking today's five-minute drill, and I'm Chris Bryant. Thanks for so much for making TBA part of your success story.